Hey there, nature lovers! Today, we're hopping into the fascinating world of one of Australia's most iconic creatures. When the first European explorers asked Aboriginal Australians what these strange bouncing animals were called, the response was kangaroo, which some claim actually meant, I don't understand, in the local language. Whether that story is true or not, one thing's for sure. Kangaroos are among the most mind-blowing creatures on our planet. Did you know a red kangaroo can leap over 25 feet in a single bound? That's like a human jumping across an entire swimming pool. And unlike almost every other large mammal on Earth, these marsupials move by hopping on their powerful hind legs, an adaptation that actually becomes more energy efficient the faster they go. But perhaps most amazing is how kangaroo babies develop. Born tiny, pink and hairless, after just 33 days, these jelly bean-like joeys must make an incredible journey from birth canal to pouch, climbing using only their front limbs through their mother's fur to safety. Nature has never created a more remarkable testament to the power of evolutionary adaptation. Family Species Classification Kangaroos belong to the family Macropodadi, which literally means Bigfoot. Pretty fitting when you see those massive hind feet in action. This family includes not just kangaroos, but also wallabies, tree kangaroos and wallaroos, making up about 60 different species in total. Compare this diversity to deer, which have about 90 species worldwide, or bears with just 8 species globally. The four kangaroo species recognized today are the red kangaroo, eastern grey kangaroo, western grey kangaroo and antilopin kangaroo. The red kangaroo stands tallest among them all, up to 6 feet when standing upright. That's taller than the average human. In contrast, the smallest member of the macropod family, the musky rat kangaroo, stands just 6 inches tall, about the size of a guinea pig. Taxonomically speaking, kangaroos are marsupials, placing them in the infra-class marsupilia, alongside koalas, wombats and Tasmanian devils. This makes them fundamentally different from placenta mammals like humans, dogs or elephants. While placental mammals develop their young extensively within the womb, marsupials have opted for a different reproductive strategy that we'll explore later. Interestingly, kangaroos share the order Diprotodontia with koalas and wombats, characterized by two large front teeth in the lower jaw. This dental arrangement is somewhat like rodents but evolved completely independently. Unlike rodent teeth that need constant gnawing to stay trim, kangaroo teeth move forward in the jaw as they wear down, a conveyor belt system that gives them new cutting surfaces throughout their lives. Evolutionary Lineage The story of kangaroo evolution is a journey spanning 50 million years beginning when Australia was still attached to Antarctica as part of the supercontinent Gondwana. Fossil evidence shows that the earliest marsupials appeared during the Paleocene epoch, about 65 million years ago, not long after the dinosaurs vanished. These small, shrew-like creatures would eventually diversify into the kangaroos we know today. As Australia drifted northward in splendid isolation about 30 million years ago, its mammals evolved in ways dramatically different from those on other continents. While Africa developed lions and zebras, and North America produced bears and bison, Australia became a laboratory for marsupial evolution. The absence of large placental predators created an evolutionary playground where kangaroos could thrive. By comparison, South America, which also had marsupials, saw them largely replaced when the land bridge to North America formed, allowing placental mammals to invade. The ancestors of modern kangaroos developed their distinctive hopping locomotion around 20 million years ago. This adaptation is unique among large mammals. Imagine if elephants moved by hopping. Even other famous jumping animals like frogs use all four limbs to leap. The kangaroo's bipedal hop allows speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, comparable to a galloping horse but using far less energy. Propellipus oscillans, a carnivorous kangaroo that lived until about 40,000 years ago, shows just how diverse the family once was. This beast stood six feet tall with sharp teeth for slicing meat, 
a dramatic contrast to today's peaceful plant eaters. Its extinction coincided with human arrival in Australia, much like the fate of the woolly mammoth in North America. This suggests that, like many large mammals worldwide, the most specialized kangaroos may have been vulnerable to human hunting or habitat changes. Genetics and Genetic Relationships The kangaroo genome tells an extraordinary evolutionary tale. Sequenced in 2011, the Tamar wallaby genome, a close kangaroo relative, revealed about 20,000 genes, comparable to the human genome's 21,000. But the similarities end there. Marsupial chromosomes have undergone extensive reshuffling compared to placental mammals, reflecting their 160 million year separate evolution. Kangaroos possess several genetic innovations that would astonish medical researchers. Their milk genes change composition as the joey develops, automatically producing different milk formulations as the baby grows. Imagine human breast milk that automatically adjusts its nutritional content based on the baby's age. Even more remarkable, female kangaroos can simultaneously produce two completely different types of milk for joeys of different ages. One milk type from one teat for a newborn and another type from a different teat for an older joey. Genetic comparisons show that kangaroos are more closely related to the South American Monito del Monte, a tiny marsupial, than the North American opossums. This reveals that the marsupial lineage spread across the ancient southern supercontinent before it broke apart. By contrast, placental mammals like humans and elephants share a more recent common ancestor with each other than either does with any marsupial despite the enormous differences in our appearances. Perhaps most fascinating is the discovery that certain immune system genes in kangaroos bear striking resemblance to those in humans, suggesting convergent evolution. Both species independently develop similar genetic solutions to fight pathogens, despite our vastly different evolutionary paths. This genetic convergence extends to brain development genes as well. The Pax6 gene crucial for eye development, functions nearly identically to kangaroos and humans, explaining why both species have similarly structured eyes despite evolving separately for millions of years. Anatomy and Physical Properties A kangaroo's anatomy is a masterclass in specialized design. Let's start with those iconic legs. The femur and tibia of a red kangaroo are proportionally longer than a cheetah's, built not for short bursts, but sustained hopping. The massive gastrocnemius muscle, calf muscle, would make human bodybuilders jealous, storing and releasing energy like a spring with each bound. The kangaroo's tail deserves special attention. It's essentially a fifth limb. Containing more vertebrae than a human spine, this robust appendage acts as a counterbalance when hopping, a prop when sitting, and even a supporting limb when walking slowly. When a kangaroo walks, yes, they can walk, not just hop, the tail pushes against the ground, forming a tripod with the front limbs while the hind legs swing forward together. Compare this to a beaver's tail, which serves as a rudder and fat storage, or a monkey's prehensile tail used for grasping, the kangaroo's tail is uniquely load-bearing. Female kangaroos possess a remarkable anatomical feature absent in most mammals, a third vagina. The central birth canal is used exclusively for delivering young, while two lateral vaginas are used for mating. Males match this unusual arrangement with forked penises. This configuration looks bizarre compared to human reproductive anatomy, but it's perfectly adapted to their reproductive needs. The forelimbs of kangaroos, though smaller than the hind legs, show impressive dexterity. With separately mobile digits, they can manipulate objects with precision similar to raccoons. This contrasts sharply with undulates like deer, whose forelimbs evolved into simple weight-bearing structures with reduced digits. The kangaroo's arms allow them to groom, handle food, and even box competitors, a testament to the versatility retained in their limb design compared to many quadrupedal mammals. Physiological Adaptations the kangaroo's hopping locomotion represents one of the animal kingdom's most energy-efficient forms of movement. 
At speeds above 15 miles per hour, kangaroos actually use less energy the faster they go. A feat that would be like a human burning fewer calories running a 5-minute mile than a 10-minute mile. This miracle of efficiency comes from tendons that store elastic energy with each landing, then release it for the next jump. Water conservation is another kangaroo's superpower. Living in Australia's harsh, arid regions, red kangaroos can go months without drinking water, deriving moisture entirely from the plants they eat. Their kidneys produce highly concentrated urine that's five times more concentrated than human urine. For a perspective, if humans had this ability, we could survive desert conditions drinking just a few tablespoons of water daily. The kangaroo's digestive system rivals cows in efficiency but uses a completely different approach. While cows have four stomach chambers, kangaroos have an elongated specialized stomach housing unique bacteria that breaks down tough plant material. These microbes allow kangaroos to extract nutrients from fibrous plants that would be indigestible to humans. Even more impressive, kangaroos produce virtually no methane during digestion, unlike cattle whose digestive gases significantly contribute to greenhouse emissions. Perhaps most remarkable is embryonic diapause, the ability to pause pregnancy. A female kangaroo can halt the development of an embryo in her uterus during unfavorable conditions like drought, then resume the pregnancy when conditions improve. Imagine if human women could pause a pregnancy during times of famine or stress. This adaptation ensures joeys are born only when the mother can support them, an evolutionary solution to Australia's boom and bust cycles of rainfall and food availability. Feeding and predators. Kangaroos are nature's lawnmowers, grazing primarily on grasses and herbs with their specialized dentition. Their unique jaw mechanics allow forward-backward grinding motions rather than the side-to-side -side chewing of cows. This efficient processing system extracts maximum nutrition through tough Australian vegetation that would leave many herbivores starving. Before European settlement, the primary predators of kangaroos were Aboriginal hunters and the thylacine, Tasmanian tiger now extinct. Today, dingoes and wedge-tailed eagles represent the main natural threats, particularly to young joeys. Adult kangaroos can deliver powerful kicks capable of disemboweling predators. Dingoes hunting alone rarely attack fully grown kangaroos. Compare this to African herbivores like zebras that face multiple large predators, including lions, leopards, hyenas and wild dogs, making the kangaroos' predator pressures relatively modest. A fascinating feeding adaptation is the kangaroo's ability to regurgitate and rechew partially digested food, somewhat like cows chewing cud. However, the process differs significantly. While cows have a four-chambered stomach optimized for fermentation, kangaroos achieve similar digestive efficiency with a completely different evolutionary solution. Their specialized stomach contains unique bacteria that break down cellulose whilst producing minimal methane, making them much greener than cattle. Water requirements vary dramatically between kangaroo species. The red kangaroo rarely drinks water directly, getting most moisture from vegetation, while the eastern grey kangaroo drinks regularly when water is available. This mirrors adaptations seen in desert mammals worldwide. Compare the kangaroo to the Arabian oryx, which can detect rainfall from miles away and travel toward it, or camels that can drink 30 gallons in minutes, then go weeks without water. The kangaroo's water efficiency falls somewhere between these extremes, perfectly matched to Australia's variable climate. Reproduction and Lifespan Kangaroo reproduction showcases one of nature's most astonishing life cycles. After the briefest of pregnancies, just 33 days for red kangaroos, a newborn joey emerges completely underdeveloped, about the size of a jelly bean and weighing less than a gram. Born blind, hairless, with only developed forelimbs, this tiny creature must crawl through its mother's fur into the pouch unassisted. This incredible journey would be like a human baby immediately after birth, climbing up its mother's torso without any help. 
Inside the pouch, the joey attaches to a teat that swells in its mouth, preventing it from detaching until development advances. For comparison, a human baby spends about 266 days in the womb before birth, while a kangaroo joey spends just 33 days in the womb, but another 190 to 240 days developing in the pouch. This external womb strategy means the mother can flee from danger without an advanced pregnancy weighing her down. The most mind-blowing aspect of kangaroo reproduction is embryonic diapause, allowing females to maintain three separate offspring at different developmental stages simultaneously. An embryo in suspended development in the womb, a young joey in the pouch, and an older joey that has left the pouch but still suckles occasionally. This reproductive efficiency surpasses any large mammal on Earth. Imagine a human mother simultaneously nursing a toddler, carrying a newborn, and maintaining a suspended pregnancy. Red kangaroos can live 20 to 25 years in captivity, but typically 12 to 15 years in the wild. This lifespan exceeds similar-sized placental mammals like deer, which typically live 6 to 14 years, but falls short of humans. Interestingly, females typically outlive males by several years, similar to the human longevity gap. This sex difference likely results from males engaging in dangerous competition for mates and ranging more widely, increasing their exposure to predators and accidents. Biomechanical Wonders The kangaroo's hopping locomotion represents one of nature's most elegant engineering solutions. Their specialized Achilles tendons act like powerful springs, storing about 70% of the energy from each landing and recycling it for the next jump. Human tendons, by comparison, return only about 20 to 30% of energy during running. This remarkable efficiency means a hopping kangaroo uses less energy traveling at 15 miles per hour than a walking one uses at 5 miles per hour turning the normal rules of animal locomotion upside down. Cultural Significance Kangaroos have bounded deep into human imagination, appearing in Aboriginal Dreamtime stories for over 40,000 years as spiritual ancestors and powerful beings. When Europeans first encountered these creatures, they were so astonished that early reports were dismissed as travelers' tall tales. A pouch-bearing animal that stood upright and moved by jumping seemed too fantastic to be real. Today, the kangaroo stands as Australia's national symbol, appearing on the country's coat of arms, currency and airline logos. Beyond Australia, these remarkable creatures have captured global fascination, embodying the unique evolutionary path taken by life on this isolated continent. A living reminder of how environments shape species over millions of years of adaptation.